So if you've watched a lot of my wood turning videos, you've seen me do a very unsafe action, which is to uh, hand start my motor. You turn this thing on and 90% of the time this thing would not start. The motor would hum, you could tell it was energized, but it wouldn't spin. So I've been operating on the assumption that I had a bad starting capacitor uh, all this time. And so thanks to uh, Skip, who's my very sh shy cameraman, uh, he finally kicked my butt and he said, Jim, you need to fix that capacitor. So let's take that capacitor out of there and go get you a new one. So we came over here and we pulled the capacitor out of here and we took it over to this motor store uh, down the road and took one look at it. He said, that's a good capacitor, I can already tell you. And then he tested it for me and sure enough, it was fine. And so he said, what you need to look at is your centrifugal switch uh, that uh, bypasses this capacitor. So he said, take your end bell off and uh, you'll have to take your fan off. And there's my little fan right there. Loosen that up. And then there's a cowling under that, and there it is. So you have a centrifugal switch uh, in your motor, uh, which is probably not letting the capacitor uh, charge up. And so we took this thing apart, and what we found out is that, yeah, there's the contacts right there. There's the points. Now, when this point is in this position where, where you see it right now, that has the capacitor in the loop with the motor. So when you turn the switch on, uh, you get energization of the capacitor and then that gives the motor the kick to start. But then when the motor fires up and runs, this centrifugal switch, the weights come out and what it does is it unloads the points and it changes the position of the contacts and that takes the capacitor out of the circuit. So what we found was that uh, when we took this apart, everything was nice and tight, but when we turned the shaft around, there were positions uh, in the rotation where the contact was made, not made up for the capacitor. So uh, all we did, and this is Skip's suggestion, he says, why don't we move that switch in a little bit? We moved it maybe a 64th of an inch in, and by turning it around, we could see that the contact was made up on the full revolution. All right, so what you're gonna see when I turn the, the, the lathe on is these little weights are gonna shift, and that's gonna change the contact position. So three, two, one, and there you go. It uh, started right up, and uh, when you turn it off, you can see the weights centrifugal force and the weights move and that changes the position of the contacts for the next start. So it wasn't the capacitor, it was just this little adjustment on the centrifugal switch. I cannot believe it is working properly finally after all uh, three years of doing the pull to start. That was an unsafe act and I was willing to do that unsafe act for almost three years without addressing the problem and then when I finally got into it uh, it turns out to be a simple adjustment of a little centrifugal switch. And now I don't have the problem anymore. I'm going to enjoy every time I start this thing now. Isn't it amazing how we work around these little problems without addressing them? Thank you, Skip, for kicking my butt and making me fix this thing. You're welcome, Jim. <laughs> <laughs>